Yo, yo, welcome to lesson 29. Today, we're going to learn how to host a website on GitHub for free in less than five minutes. First, head on over to Replit, go to the file directory on the left, look for the three dots, click this, scroll down and click download as zip. And this will basically give you a zip file that contains all of the files for your website. On a Mac, all you have to do is double click this file to unzip it. On Windows, you might have to download some kind of software to unzip the file. Anyways, let's double click this file. This will basically unzip the file and it will give you a folder open that folder and inside here you'll see all the files pertaining to your website. Just to double check, open a new tab in your browser. So click the plus and now drag the index.html into the browser like this. And just like that, you'll see your website. Cool. The next thing that we want to do is to be able to share this website with our friends and family. Cool. Now open a new tab uh, and go to desktop.github.com and download the software. So this program is basically a graphical interface for GitHub. This is a great tool for us to learn how to use Git. So instead of editing files directly on the website, we can actually edit it on our computers and then upload the files directly with this software. And later on in this course, we'll be using the terminal a lot more often, especially when we learn how to use Node.js and also React. Nice. Now double click the zip file to unzip the file. Let it unzip. Cool. Once it's done, double click the file to open it. Click open. Cool. Now all you have to do is sign in with your GitHub account. So click sign in. And once you click this, all you have to do is click authorize desktop. If you get this error, all you have to do is move your GitHub desktop into your applications folder. And now let's try it again. Click OK and click here. And cool. Now it works. And you can leave everything here the same. Just click finish. And cool. Now we're all set. So now click create a new repository on your hard drive and now give it a name. And I'm just going to call it website 101 and point the local path to where your website folder is. So click choose. And for me, it's called web development 101 and then click open and click initialize this repository with the readme and then click create repository. Cool. Now all we have to do is click publish repository, double check that this looks good and then click publish. Now click view on GitHub and here you can see your repository and this should look very similar to the one that we created in the previous lesson. Cool. Now go back to GitHub desktop and now go back to the folder that contains your website. So web development 101, and inside here, you're going to see website 101. If you open it, you're going to see readme.md. So this folder is basically our Git repository. And now what you want to do is copy all the files into the website 101 folder. So copy everything here and paste it in here. Now go back to GitHub desktop. So here in green, we're going to see all the changes that we've made to our repository. So in this case, since we copied the files over, basically everything is green. And I want you to notice that there's this file called .ds store. So a DS store file is basically a file on a Mac OS where it basically contains metadata related to the attributes of its containing folder. And if you notice inside our folder, we don't even see this .ds store file. This file is basically hidden and it doesn't really serve any purpose for our website. So we shouldn't include this file in our repository. So what we can do is we can right click this file and click ignore file add to .git ignore. So click this and all this does is it creates a file called .git ignore. And basically inside here on line two, it says .ds underscore store. So basically a .git ignore file is mainly used to list out files that we want to ignore in our repository. For example, you may have files that contain sensitive information like passwords and things that you don't want to share with the internet. So it is good practice to use a .git ignore file. And basically all you have to do is create a new line and add the path to the file inside this file. Cool. The next thing you want to do is go to the bottom left of your screen. Here you're going to see summary and description and commit to main. So this is basically used to write our commit message. So all you want to do is give a meaningful name for what we're doing. So here we can write initial website files. And then all you want to do is click commit to main. And this is basically like what we did in the previous lesson where we're adding a new state to our history. And next you want to click push origin. And that basically pushes our files directly to GitHub. So now click view on GitHub. And here, as you can see, all of the files are now on GitHub. And to keep this video short, I'll show you in the next lesson how to use GitHub desktop to create pull requests and update your project. Cool. So the next thing we want to do is go to settings. And on the left side, you're going to see a tab called pages. Click this. And basically to host our website, all we have to do is enable GitHub pages. So one thing to know, in order to use this feature, you either have to upgrade your GitHub plan or you just have to make sure that your repository is public. So to make it public, go to the general tab, go to the bottom of the page. The first option here, you're going to see change repository visibility. All you have to do is click change visibility and here click make public and then copy the name of your repository, paste it here and click. I understand change repository visibility. Now go back to pages and now go to source and click this drop down and select main. 
So all we want to do is to tell GitHub that our website is on the main timeline or the main branch. So click main and then click save. And here you'll see that it generates a link. Open this link in a new tab. At first, you're gonna see a 404 page, but give it a minute or two for GitHub to deploy your website. And just be patient and wait a bit. Five minutes later. Cool, now let's click refresh. And just like that, our website is live. And this link here is public. So feel free to share it with your friends and your family. And also share it with me either in the comments or on the Discord. I love to see what you have created. And cool, that's it for this lesson. We've come a very long way now. We've done so much in only 29 lessons. We've learned how to build basic projects in Python. And now we learn how to build websites and also how to host it. I hope that you're enjoying this journey. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson.